Hi, I'm Nicole Rollander, Stitches Editor and Director of ASI Education. Let's look at one of our latest emails for our Dear Stitches series. Dear Stitches, in my shop, I have a how to manage me problem. Business has been excellent in the past two years. As a business owner, I'm proud to say I doubled my profits in 2008 and held that amount in 2009. I have six single head embroidery machines and two heat presses. I have three employees who do the production and sort and verify orders when we receive them. So back to my problem. I've had a hard time keeping up with the management end of my business. I started my company in 1999 with one machine and did everything myself. Now my only responsibilities are accounts payable and receivable, set up for all embroidery orders, ordering custom heat transfers, giving quotes and placing orders, all the management stuff. This time of year slows down enough that there aren't any problems, but once April hits, it's a madhouse and that doesn't quit for the rest of the year. I sit there in my office and say, why can't I just get myself organized? Quotes are so time consuming for me, especially when they involve special garments like prom dresses or large volume orders. I wish someone could just help me. Signed, spinning my bobbins and getting nowhere. Well, Spinnin', it sounds like you figured out how to run a successful business, and maybe your management skills just need a little tune-up, or maybe not. The Stitches Editorial Advisory Board seems to think that what needs a tune-up in your 10-year-old business is what tasks you focus your time on. So here's their advice. First, focus your time on what no one else in your business can do, such as sales, working on detailed quotes, and more custom work. Two, delegate more tasks to a key employee. You may not be at a point where you're ready to delegate your financial duties, but by relinquishing the production-related elements of your day, such as embroidery job setup or ordering transfers, you'll free up more of your time for quoting, sales, and networking. If you have a good, responsible employee, giving her some managerial independence can be the best decision you'll ever make if you do it carefully. For the bookkeeping tasks, perhaps hire someone part-time or as needed when the busy time hits. Three, group your tasks. Delegate ordering to Tuesday mornings and making sales calls to Wednesday afternoons, for example. By focusing on a specific group of tasks at a certain time, you'll accomplish more. And finally, four, consider purchasing shop management software. A simple shop management package would enable you to track customers, do billing, and provide quick automated quotes. The software would provide you with a database of designs and orders so that repeat customers' jobs are easy to handle. Plus, you can mine your customer base to see where they might need additional services from you. Good luck in making your successful business even more successful. I'm Nicole Rollander for ASI TV. Want us to address your decorating dilemmas in an upcoming Deer Stitches video? Email us at nrollander at asicentral.com and tell us all about it.